Hello, YouTube friends. I've went out on an evening, on a Saturday evening, to uh, go and take some photos. I've seen a picture a lot on Instagram over the last couple of days, and I want it. Basically, I want it. So I have come to a place just near Western Burt, Arboretum, and it's there's just a beautiful tree with some beautiful poppies. So um, let's go and uh, let's go and take some photos. Yeah. Oh, I might even fly the drone. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello, we are here in the heroin fields of Gloucestershire. I mean, they probably don't grow heroin from this, but this place is stunning. So I've got simple composition. Sorry, my phone's going off. Simple composition. Just a... Uh... Lens cap might help. And I'm just going to adjust it just to... Oh, mate, that is a dream. So I'm not going for much. F4, just get a bit of depth of field, blur out some of these, some of these poppies, and then keep the tree in focus, and then hopefully get some of the nice sky. But there's a lovely cloud there, so hopefully, hopefully, I'll get that cloud, and uh, yeah, I've got a nice wide angle. I'm literally at 24 mil at the minute, so let's just let's just pray. Oh Lord Jesus. Welcome back. I hope you like that footage from my little trip out the other evening uh, to take some photos of a wonderful, just amazing location uh, in Gloucestershire. Um, just was staggering. It did smell a bit funny. That's, that's kind of all I have to say about that, really. I did shoot some drone footage, but it was a bit crap. So I did crash it into some other poppies. So that's kind of neither here nor there. Currently, 26 degrees. Hopefully you can see that. 27 degrees. Gone up. Hot. Very hot. I don't know why I'm in my studio with big light and a new little addition. Oh, a new little addition of a hair light up here. after watching a recent Peter McKinnon video um, when he set it up. Um, what it basically is, old curtain pole. No, old wardrobe pole attached to the side of my wardrobe with some threaded inserts I've got left over from my overhead rig and uh, a little mount thing for it. Ooh. So yeah, that's quite nice with my little Yongyo light because I have a new light, which is here, which is uh, the Godox SL160W uh, with a big newer, softbox which is lovely it's so much nicer than that old umbrella that I had which did well but this softbox is much nicer my swanky remote um, which standard velcro on the back of it so I can velcro to the back anyway that's not the point of this video this point of this video is to talk to you about inspirational photographers yeah part four inspirational photographers this one's gonna be a little bit different um, I've not really got any physical things to show you um, like a book or a calendar Currently June, very beautiful. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about inspirational Instagram photographers. So first up is a guy whose feed is just insane, so good. And his name is Bryn Webley. I'll put his thing here. It's like 
image. Um, it's fantastic. It's such a good um, Southwest photographer. Really like high quality images, lovely atmosphere, lovely light, just insane. Um, he has recently just tagged me in one of his posts he took from the same place that I went to. Um, his links to his Instagram will be in the description. Uh, he's a fantastic, fantastic, he's a fantastic Instagram feed. Lovely. Second one is a guy called Dr. John Reese. Now his images are just insane. I believe he's a, a GP um, by day and by night he is a landscape photographer and does a lot of long exposure shots. Um, some fantastic ones of Clevedon, uh, Western and some um, just general all around. Bernal Sea, a good place I went to in my previous but one video. Um, link that up in the description and down on all the places. Um, he's a fantastic photographer, nice bloke. Um, I know he's been really, really busy recently with the whole pandemic stuff, um, but he's still been managing to go out on his downtime and take some just absolute bangers. Um, his link to his feed um, will be in the description as well. Just, yeah, fantastic. And there's another guy who's got a couple of different pages. Um, there's a guy called Gareth Llewellyn, um, South Wales guy. Um, he, in essence, is a uh, Welsh Peter McKinnon. His images are fantastic. Um, absolutely just mind-boggling. Again, his images are all scrolling through here, as you can see. He's got another one. Um, his Instagram is with Gar, um, and he's got another one, which I think is Pirate Gar, which is his uh, kind of top-down shots um, and his kind of like EDC stuff. Um, it's just fantastic. Linking from the Pete's Pirate Life from Pete McKinnon stuff and all this stuff will be in the description um, and in the cards and things. So, yeah, but Gareth's is um, fantastic. Like I said, his photos are equally as insane as the other two guys. Um, just fantastic. There's so much talent, it seems, in this relatively small bubble of the southwest, the south of Wales area it's just ridiculous and it is a great inspiration to scroll through my Instagram feed and see some insanely good photographers out there that are places that I can actively get to whereas these fantastic beautiful beautiful locations but it's very very difficult for me with a job and a family to go out to uh, the Alps on an evening when I can easily drive to Burnham on Sea in an hour and uh, take some fantastic photos or even once lockdowns are fully lifted go back to South Wales and explore down there again I want to go back to a little swirly road again but hopefully that video is coming soon yeah really quick video it's bloody hot I want to go outside um, eat some ice creams and um, hopefully do some photography this afternoon maybe maybe See what the missus says. We'll see. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I can see my YouTube subscribers have boosted yet again. So thank you to everyone who is new. Um, and I hope you stay along with my journey through photography and video. And we can learn together and just generally have a great time. So again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all on the next video. Bye bye.